Hello, Assalamu alaikum. I am Muhammad Adaya Sarshad. I have to discuss something. We all live in a country where almost everyone see around small kids begging, working, polishing the shoes, providing services in service station, at mechanics, at stores. And we all know how many of them are grown enough to work. Child labor is not just a topic of speech. It's just not a statement. It's a mindset of a nation. When we heard these words, we all feel sad for the boy or for the child whose childhood is ruined. Working at a very young age, he can't live in his childhood anymore. He can't make any mistakes. There is no one with whom he can play all the day. There is no time for him to be happy, to make memories of his childhood. He just knows that he has to go to work, do it and come home. That's what life he gets. When he has no opportunity to choose his future before him to be a man at that age, when he isn't capable of making an opinion, giving an example as if I am a father, I should be wishing that my child should become a better man than me. I should be making every effort to give my child the life that is better than what I saw when I was of his age. I am not a father, but I think that's what a father always wanted. But unfortunately, a narrow, foolish and backward mindset is to be experienced in a local family of my nation. It goes on the quotation as, a son of farmer will always be a farmer. By snatching all the good memories of this child, sending them to work at that particular age where they are to be playing, acknowledging the world where they have to grow. At that innocent age, where they have to be treated as a child, but their faces people treating them as a hard worker, which makes some major complexes and discrimination in the thought of that child. In the report of ILO, it was stated that about 264,000 child go for labor. It was stated that about 8.52 million home-based workers are in our country, from which 6 million are up to the age of 10 years. It's just a terrible scenario. I would not be wrong by saying that these childs that go for labor at that young age if would be given opportunity like other children. They can be more innovative, devoted and hard worker. But they were never given the opportunity to compete with other of their age. Their roots to grow in the world for new challenges were cut down. I said why? Where are they suffering from these situations? Do they not belong to humankind? Are they something else than a human that we doesn't have a soft heart for these children? Some of the family just don't think to work for their child. Their fathers are addicted to some type of drugs. They don't pay attention on their children and blame the poverty. First of all, if he is poor, there are a lot of stories that both their parents work to provide their children good education. I have an example for you. A widow woman in Karachi, Zahida Kazmi, driving a taxi to one day living. She said, all doors are seeming closed, but I don't lose heart because I had to feed my children. I wanted to educate them so they could become responsible citizens. She had two sons and five daughters, and she just worked alone to feed them and to educate them. I don't give the whole blame to these poor people. They are 50% responsible and other 50% is the country conditions. One of the most root causes that lead these things is overpopulation. The rapid increase in our population give birth to almost all the rising problems in our country such as poverty, unemployment, illiteracy and a lot of violence. These major problems such as poverty and unemployment make the living of a poor family miserable. People do not have the resources to feed. How can they afford the education fees of their children? About 24% of the population of Pakistan is below poverty line and unemployment rate is about 3.02% which means every third person is jobless. These are root causes that let people go for the wrong side and are unable to feed their children. That forces them 
to took step to send their children for them. Poverty and unemployment are somehow interlinked by each other. By increasing the employment rate, we can decrease the poverty ratio. And another cause is uneducating people. People are not educated, so they don't know how the importance of education is and where we have to work. We have to educate our nature. We have to educate our citizens so they can have an overlook about what's the disadvantage of uneducation and why it is necessary so. We should take a step towards educating our youth because now they are to become adult and run their families. Yeah, there is another scenario where might be a situation that they have no parents or their parents are not able to work. In this situation, it's our state responsibility to give them such a budget like Zifas that their son can have a bright future as well as they have enough money to live their living. That's the duty of our government to support these families and at last it's our job too. Because we are human, we have to act like ones, no mind you won't say that you don't care about other people or other humans. So, where is our human to them? That's why I studied at my topic that childhood labor is a step backward from humanity. We are losing our soul. That's all I have to say to think about it. A lot of families in our country is facing these issues. A lot of child are facing this issue. They are our future. We have to think about it. And we have to, we have to take steps to make it right and resolve these issues.